All right, thanks for tuning in once again to the Silver Bullet Report on the Silver Bullet Channel. I'm Greg De Palma, along with Steve Ferracci. And Steve, we are doing this live on a Saturday morning because we just can't wait to get this news out. Yeah, kind of for the silver crowd, it kind of feels like Christmas morning here on uh, with Silver Squeeze 2 uh, kicking off. We tried to film this yesterday. We just had some connection problems. I don't know about you, when I was a kid, we always did all our Christmas stuff on Christmas Eve. So I was trying to do a Silver Squeeze Eve show. Just didn't yeah, work well. out. So hey, it's Silver here we Squeeze are. It's Day. Like Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's like Christmas morning, the anticipation. You don't know what's uh, going to happen yet. So it kind of feels like that for the silver crowd, I think, with this whole Silver Squeeze 2 kicking off, which is actually the reason for the show today. Yeah, let's talk about it because we were talking about this off the air yesterday, and I know nothing about this. So. Uh, this is education for me. It's education for everybody that's tuning in. Yeah, so Silver Squeeze uh, basically came about on the heels of the GameStop short squeeze. The Wall Just in a quick summary, the Wall Street Bets crowd, which made huge headlines. I mean, I, you know, a lot of people have heard about the Wall Street Bets and the GameStop short squeeze. So on the heels of that, also born in Reddit, became uh, this silver short squeeze movement. Uh, which said, hey, if you can short squeeze uh, a stock like GameStop, why can't we do the same thing in sil the silver market? Because there's way more, you know, if we can short squeeze silver, there's way more potential there than, than anything else because there's a ton of shorts in the silver market. So that was the whole, uh, you know, genesis of the uh, silver short squeeze movement from Wall Street silver. Uh, that got us to where we, were, we are now. So basically what... What we're doing today here is we just want to uh, bring awareness. Uh, the guys at Wall Street Silver are asking everyone to get out there and, you know, they'd like you to see you buy 100 ounces of silver today. I know that's not possible for a lot of people. So they're saying if you can't buy 100 ounces, uh, just go ahead and buy what you can and, and support the cause. Right. So th this is another attempt to squeeze uh, short squeeze silver. So short squeeze one happened a couple months ago. And, uh, you know, there was mixed there was mixed feelings about how that turned out. Right. So silver shot up to thirty dollars, which was the, the previous recent high after that that long first leg up. So everyone got real excited. And then, you know, the cartel came in and slammed it right back down. You, you could see the shorts getting piled on, uh, which was inevitable. I mean, these people are very powerful. You know, this is a much bigger market than, say, like a GameStop stock. You know what I mean? It takes a lot more to uh, to overpower it. So the, the, the immediate net result wasn't great, but some things did happen here. So uh, there were some kinks in the armor being shown. So what happened was uh, it drained the silver supply quite a bit. So we've had a, pretty much a silver shortage ever since that first attempt based on all that volume, right? So uh, we, it gave us a chance to see just how thin this market really is. You know, at the time, did you have something to say there? Well, actually, I you were gonna say I, something. before what I was going to say was I was going to ask you about the fact that you had mentioned go out and buy 100 ounces. OK, how much is that? What does that cost me? Right. Well, currently, the spot price, which we're going to talk about, the perhaps another thing that came out of that, that initial uh, thing other than the sh shortage was uh, the dislocation between the silver spot price which is just a paper derivatives price. That's what they're controlling. And the real price of silver is the spot price plus the premium now. That's that's the real price of physical okay. silver. So they're starting to become a dislocation between those two prices. And that just that's just reflecting the real price of silver separating itself from this fake paper price, okay. right? So what was your question again? Basically, I'm sorry. Uh, how much in dollars... Oh, right would it cost me if I did want to purchase a hundred ounces? Right. So I think today I don't have the number right here in front of me. I think we're at $26 and two cents for one ounce of okay. silver. So 2,600 would be the hundred ounce, Got it. uh, you know, price You're talking about um, a little bit over a thousand dollars. If you wanted to do half of that 50 ounces, a little over a grand. Correct. Okay. Yeah, you do do your own math there, or just whatever you can afford. Sure. Look at it as a dollar amount of what you can yep. afford, and just divide by twenty six, okay. and that's going to. Now, if you're buying physical, let's talk about that for a minute. So the EFT market, which is the where the paper derivatives happen, um, 
most people invest in SLV. If you are going to invest in the paper side of it, which we do not recommend, or Wall Street Silver does not recommend either, um, at least invest in the PSLV, which is Eric Sprott's fund for, for silver, okay? Which he, he's a very well-known guy in, the, guy in the community, very honest guy. He actually goes out and gets the silver and puts it in his warehouse when you buy a paper contract from him or, okay. you know, paper silver. So that does take the silver off the market, which is the whole idea of all yeah. this, right? To, to get a force majeure by uh, getting all the, the physical silver in everyone's hands, f forcing them to, uh, you know, shore up the, the, the price of silver, right. essentially. It's a short squeeze. So if you are going to go the paper route or EFT and you got to put a little more money into it, at least buy the PSLV, which is the Sprott Fund, because he will acquire the silver, which kind of accomplishes somewhat the same idea. We recommend go ahead and, and doing uh, just straight physical silver. Okay. Uh, or I should say Wall Street Silver recommends that. And by the way, guys, none of this is uh, financial advice. This is just, you know, an informational video about what's going on today and, and hopefully throughout the week, uh, which brings me to another point. You know, with what happened last time, don't think it's just going to be a May 1st thing and then, and then you know, go away. I mean, you have to – I think these guys are going to punch back. It's like the bully on the playground, right? If you're going to go up and smack him in the face, be prepared for him to hit you back. You know, don't think he's just going to fold. These guys are definitely going to unload some shorts. I think they're ready for it. You know what I mean? So uh, – but if all the little kids in the playground surround the bully, when he, when he comes back, he's going to think twice about right. it is, is kind of the analogy, right? So, yeah, let's keep keep the momentum going. Let's do a surge this weekend and uh, hopefully, you know, keep keep pressuring throughout the week to see just exactly what this can do. If if that's something you want to participate in. Okay. So another thing I'd like to, you know, interesting timing on, an, on another piece of information last week on Kitco News, Michelle McCory uh, interviewed uh, Ed Moy, who is the former director of the U.S. Mint. Nobody knows more about the you know gold and silver markets than than this guy, or he, you know he was the uh, director during the Bush and uh, Obama administrations. And Ed's uh, honesty was a little shocking to me, uh, amongst many other admissions. Uh, you know, the one the one I liked the most was uh, he said the price of gold and silver. Well, gold in this case, anytime a guy like that talks about gold, he means silver as well. Okay. They move in tandem. You know, all, all the same pressures apply. So he said uh, that the price of gold is, is artificially suppressed, meaning they are artificially suppressing or manipulating the price of gold. I've yeah. never heard anyone from the establishment ever freely, openly admit 100 yeah. percent that that's the case. I, my jaw hit the floor. I was shocked. So if you want to hear that, go back to Michelle McCory's interview of uh, Ed Moy on Kitco. Uh, a couple other things he said is that uh, the the spot price today does not reflect the true price of gold, meaning, and then then he did go on to explain kind of the dislocation between the spot price and and what you actually have to pay to get that okay. metal. He acknowledged that fully, and uh, said that the spot paper price does not reflect the true price okay. of gold. So, uh, yeah, and then he talked about. Uh, the massive shortages, which we talked about, I think, in a previous show, you had the LBMA a few weeks ago admitting that they were within a weeks of running out of silver. This is one of the largest, you know, uh, holders of silver in the world, probably one of the top two. Uh, and they said, yeah, listen, we were, you know, they openly admitted that, uh, you know, we had the problems at the U.S. Mint. Uh, Mexico uh, was out. They stopped producing the Libertar, the Libertads for, for a minute. Uh, the Perth Mint, uh, same thing, all kinds of problems. So. There was clearly uh, a lot of issues with the, the supply of silver. We are definitely looking at a thin market here. And Ed Moy comes out and uh, confirms all that. Yeah, guys, so that, that's about it. We just wanted to jump in here today and do our part to uh, spread the word for the Wall Street silver guys and, and the whole movement. Uh, Greg, any final thoughts on? Uh... No, I think this was great. And this is just the beginning. And I know it's short notice, uh, it's again, Saturday morning, but it's about timing. We wanted to get out there on the, on, on the right day, on the day, the Silver Squeeze Day. But we're going to definitely be back in the coming days and weeks to talk a lot more about this. So, And I'm looking forward to it.